thing! Oh my god, this is so ass backwards <laughs> from what I'm used to. Hey guys, sorry it's been a while since my last video. Shannon and I actually filmed some footage on our drive back up from Toronto on Saturday. So, here is why we were down in the city. We're on our way back up from Toronto because today we had our first round interview for a thing. Yes. I don't remember what it's called. I Shannon, what was it called? A bisexual awareness screening is what they kept just calling it. Okay. But it's, they're basically um, Rainbow Health Ontario and a group whose name I'm blanking on at the moment um, are doing like a little campaign uh, for bisexual health and raising awareness for supportive communities um, while also talking about like biphobia and homophobia but saying uh, they're bringing people in with supportive families, friends, and significant others. Yay! So we put our application in for that and uh, got accepted for the initial screening which was today and then we'll hear back if we get into the another one. Yay! Later! So I think we will because we're charming as fuck. Yeah. We got to actually talk with them longer than we were expecting to because the cameras weren't working so it ah, worked in our favor. So basically we had to answer a couple icebreaker questions yeah. that were just not anything to do with what the campaign is but no. to more to get a sense of who we are and how we interact on screen which <laughs> We got this, guys. We got this, guys. The question that I got asked was if I could take one of Shannon's traits for myself, what would it be? And I said that I would take her organizational skills because she's the organized one out of the two of us and I am not so much organized as I am not organized. See, and then I was expecting her to throw that question at me. No, I knew whatever it was, yeah. they wouldn't ask, They wouldn't be like, same question. Yeah. I knew that it was going to be something different. I mine didn't was see, like, I didn't see yours coming. Total yours left field. Much more creative. Yeah. The but one then, you got was like, then for me, I, so I'm kind of thinking along the same, even if it wasn't the same question, along the same guidelines kind of thing, like name something about Libby or, I don't know, say a favorite memory or something like that. Mine was, if you could give her superhero power that she doesn't already have, what would it be? A bit. <laughs> I was like, well, you already can basically fly on a pole and have super strength because pole. <laughs> so I was like, that's what you already have. And then I was like blanking. It's like when someone asks you, like, name a color, and you're like, I've never seen color before. In my, life. my entire world is black and white. I just like totally blanked. So I gave her like Spider Man's powers. I was like, oh, well, then you can do a web and then be super cool. Later, I was like, probably telekinesis. Because you yeah. can just talk That's to okay. things with your mind. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. And it was worth <laughs> running three blocks. Yeah, we had to run. We had to run from the subway. We literally made it exactly at three o'clock. We're supposed to be there 10 we, to 15 minutes beforehand. Yeah, and we got off the elevator on the fourth floor <laughs> at 2.58, I think. Yeah, oh my God. Yorkdale parking, man. Oh, no. We would have been there like 20 minutes early, yeah. but Yorkdale parking. Yeah. Thank God we knew where we were going. Like yeah. it was around no kidding. the whole area Pride was. So I was like, oh, I know this place, but Yay. oh my God. It was fun. It was fun. It was it was a lot of fun. And yeah. now we're off to see Rob play so. Firestormers. That's a nice end to the day. Yes. It, it was, was a, a good, good day. day. It was a good day. Yeah. Yeah. So that was our day on Saturday. We still haven't heard back yet about the final filming day, but hopefully we're going to hear in the next few days and I will keep you guys posted.